in the neural network layers are a core part layers refer to the different levels of computations within a neural network neural networks especially deep neural networks are composed of multiple layers each serving a specific purpose in processing input data and generating output predictions most of the common layers are like input layer hidden layers and output layers input layer is the first layer of the neural network where the raw input data is fed into the network the number of neurons in this layers correspond to the number of features in the input data then we have lot of hidden layers these are the intermediate layers where the magic happens and these are between input and output layers they perform transformations on the input data through weighted sum and activated functions deep neural networks have multiple hidden layers that is why they are deep and then the final layer is output layer where the model generates its predictions the number of neurons in this layer depend on the nature of the problem such as binary classification multi class classification or regression now in this new research the researchers have come up with a very fine idea meta cisco and mit researchers demonstrated that llms could have up to 40 to 50% of their layers pruned with minimal impact on accuracy how good is that the process involved pruning quantization and parameter efficient fine tuning or peft strategies and this was tested on models ranging from 2 billion to 70 billion parameters across the llama when mistral and five families as you can see in this diagram llama 70 billion and llama 13 billion models showed slight accuracy loss after 40% and 50% layer pruning respectively other models experienced minimal accuracy declines with 20 to 30% of layers removed the process they have used is quite interesting first they identified layers for removal the team from these companies they used a similarity score to find redundant or less important layers layers with the lowest angular distance between their representations were targeted for pruning and then there was the phase of layer pruning strategy where they progressively deleted layers that showed minimal change in output when compared to adjacent layers they also studied a simple layer pruning strategy for popular families of open weighted retrained llms finding minimal degradation of performance on different question answering benchmarks until after a large fraction up to even 50% of the layers were removed to prune these models they identified the optimal block of layers to prune by considering similarity across layers then to heal the damage they performed a small amount of fine tuning they also used peft specifically quantization and low rank adaptant qlora such that each of their experiments can be performed on a single a100 gpu which is still quite expensive by the way now for example if you want to let's say run your model faster like llama now you can just even delete half of the layers and the impact will be minimal but it will reduce the cost a lot so this is really really cool and this is quite surprising that the results which they have they have shown which show that you can now delete 20% to 50% of the model layers without impacting performance while memory and compute take lines linearly with layers pruned their results also suggest that shallow layers are disproportionately important for model results allowing deletion of deeper layers with minimal impact and there is a lot of good stuff happening within this paper and i will drop the link in video's description now one cool thing which i gleaned from this paper because it suggests that current training might not leverage deep layers effectively which is quite an eye opening thing because these days many of the models and the uh, have many hidden layers but it seems that having more layers doesn't really add up to more and more accuracy which is very very interesting also this paper suggests that current training techniques might not be making use of all the layers effectively so this is i believe a flaw in the current training method so there is a lot of improvement there and this could prove be uh, very very ground breaking and if you look at this diagram on the screen this is the overview of their layer pruning strategy and example results for example the figure a it is a flow chart describing the algorithm 
so if removing n layer they have found out the layer l steric that minimizes the angular distance d between layer l and l plus n they then remove the n layer beginning with layer l steric finally if necessary they can heal the damage with a small amount of parameter parameter efficient fine tuning then the figure b is primarily a schematic depicting the removal of removal of n total layers and then if you uh, look at the subsequent figures like uh, if you for example look at the figure d or c maybe c is angular distance d between different number of layers n versus a number layer and then d is the result of pruning llama to 70 billion with healing healing is in the dark blue and without healing which is in the light blue as a function of the fraction of layers removed so a real good treat i should say i think this is going to be huge the benefits are um, huge because it, what it is saying is that ai models might be more efficient than previously thought opening path to faster cheaper ai challenging the necessity of large models and indicating a need to refine training method to fully utilize model capacity so for example if you have 7 billion 13 billion parameter if we remove 50 percent of the layer just imagine you can run them on your uh, community gpu hardware which will be cheaper and it means that ai will soon be in the hands of everyone and you'll be running these models on your local systems quite easily so i think that papers like these they show that there are massive massive savings available this field is still new and evolving so but things like that in our hand i think this could go a long long way because nothing is better than getting the ai in the hands of everyone and llama family of model actually started it because beginning with the release of the open weight llama family the open source machine learning community has really you know warmed up to the idea of having the philosophy of making llms accessible to everyone this has really engen engendered many innovations around efficiency such as lora uh, q lora which allows near state of the art 70 billion models to be fine tuned only on single 80 gb a100 gpus and i also have done a lot of fine tuning of smallish models by using q lora and lora so you can have lora adapter and a lot of good stuff is happening there also um, for example the released version of llama to 70 billion spans 140 gb of memory and consume uh, like 3 into 10 power 10 flops per token with 4 bit quantization and layer pruning uh, 50 percent of that will be reduced and this model will fit approximately on just 17.5 gb of memory so from 140 of gb of memory of full model if we remove the layers then it will fit in just within 17.5 gb of memory how good is that so amazing stuff i think uh, i would really love to see people doing a lot of pruning of layers and coming up with the models and uh, awesome stuff that's it guys let me know your thoughts on it uh, what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching